Yes, Luke Gebby tied Daniel Coakley's 10-year record, Philippine record for the 50 freestyle. Great it, swim. It's been a very good day for Luke Gebby of the Philippines. And then up next, we are moving into the women's 100-meter butterfly event. Who would you say is the front runner for this competition? Definitely the Kwa sisters, Kwa Jingwen and Kwa Tingwen. They've been dominating this event for so long. But uh, let's not forget about Jasmine Alcaldi, one of the clutch Filipino swimmers. She manages to win a medal every single time she swims, so never count her out. And she has been a mainstay in the Philippine team. These are the records that they're looking to break from China. Zige Liu, 56.07 seconds. Swimming in lane one is Thailand. Patara Wadi Kitia. And then Jasmine Alcaldi of the Philippines on lane two. Crowd waving their flags and cheering loudly for Jasmine Alcaldi. On lane three is Remedy Alexis Rule of the Philippines. Yeah, she's our national record holder for, for this event, 100.42. Jing Wen Kwa taking lane four from Singapore. The youngest of the Kwa siblings. And then another Kwa, Ting Wen Kwa from Singapore. On lane five. In lane six, Lee Mai Tao Le of Vietnam. On lane six. Lane seven, lane another seven. swimmer from Super Thailand. Supasuta Son Tuong Conchote. And Indonesia's Kirana Dewi taking lane eight. In lane eight, Kirana Adepta of Indonesia. Yeah, we'll be looking at the Singaporeans to go out really fast in the first 50, and then the Filipinos will try their hardest to really catch up in the end. This will be a great race. So for the competitors of the Koa siblings, it's pretty much just trying to keep in pace and then going for a late surge. Here we go. Wow, watching when the older Kwa sibling had a really, really great underwater there. As you can see, Jasmine Alcali doesn't have the best underwater, but she is a fast swimmer. And it's still very close right now. The cross siblings. First two, and then Jasmine Alcaldi keeping pace. We're seeing Kwating Wen trying to pull away. Jasmine Alcaldi really trying hard to win that silver medal in lane two. Really catching up to Kwa Jing Wen. And it will be the two Kwa siblings taking the top spot. Kwa Ting Wen will be taking home that gold medal followed by her sister Kwa Jing Wen. And Jasmine Alcaldi of the Philippines will be taking home the bronze medal. Exactly. Another bronze for Jasmine, but great, great swim for her. The winner with a time of 59.62 seconds. Jasmine Alcabi's last swim for the Southeast Asian Games. Waving to the fans. And blowing a kiss to her supporters as well. What a race that was. It was very close all throughout. Yeah.
as expected, the top four swimmers, uh, Kwa Jingwen, Kwa Tingwen, Remedy Rule, and Jasmine Alkavi. What a great race from the four of them. And yet another victory for Singapore in the swimming competition tonight. How nice it is to have your sister swimming against you in the same meet for one country. And I'm sure that really helps them keep their level up as well. Exactly. When you have your sister racing you every single time. And uh, Jasmine Alcaldi in bronze medal broke Remedy Rules uh, 100 butterfly record. And it's now 1 minute 0.39. In third place. The and swimming the competition the being medal, held at the new Clark City Aquatic Center. Jasmine Alcaldi of the Philippines coming in third place, taking home the bronze medal. She wins another bronze medal. Like you said, she has been a consistent performer for Team Philippines. Exactly. Amazing, amazing career she has had. Two Olympics, two Asian Games, numerous Southeast Asian Games medals. 